Atlanta X's. Yes. Congratulations on that. You all completed the first season. What, how, how would you, how was that experience for you? You know, it's a double-edged sword. I, uh, I was very, first of all, I'm not one that's big on being in front of the camera. Um, I've always been behind the scenes, so I'm a little camera shy and nervous. So I spent, you know, probably the first four episodes trying to just not, you know, blink uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and trying not to, you know, mess up and say the wrong thing. And then it came off as you think you're better than everybody okay. or you, because they just didn't understand what my mindset was. Okay. And I was trying just not to get into confrontations. Then I ended up in them because I wasn't. <laughs> then I thought I was better. Then when I would say something to have some personality, it'd be the wrong thing. <laughs> I would have foot and mouth disease. I was just like, shit, I can't win with this damn thing. So, um, I didn't like some of the edits and some of the way that I kind of came off on camera. But you know what? It was an experience. I don't regret it. Okay. Do you feel like you were edited fairly? Sometimes I was not. Okay. Definitely. But then it's kind of, you got to follow the story. So, mm -hmm. if you do one episode, and I'm kind of, you know, made look to look a little more confrontational or whatever, that next episode has to kind of match the other one. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it's just the name of the game. And at the end of the day, I'm smarter than that. I knew what I signed up for, and I should have just kind of carefully analyzed that a little bit. Okay. What was the hardest for you to watch? Hardest for me to watch mm -hmm. would have been the trial stuff. When, uh, you know, we went to court, um, the guy who uh, had the accident with my son, that was hard to watch, you know, kind of watching myself go through that. Mm-hmm. And just kind of reliving some of those thoughts. Moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like was the most challenging part of the entire process, I guess? Having to be in makeup every day and having to, I don't know. I mean, one thing I'll say, reality shows now have changed. You know, back in the old days, cameras followed you everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like the real world, yeah. the original days. Yeah. They would get you on the toilet. They would follow you in the bathroom. There was cameras. This was more you provide a schedule of what's going on in your life, and they kind of ask you if they can film certain aspects. And there were certain things I didn't mind, you know, being transparent about. Mm -hmm. Others I didn't. People need to realize that reality cameras, reality shows, they get like 10% of what's going on in your life. Mm -hmm. Your life really has a lot more hours in it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And people think they know everything about people from watching them on TV. Yeah. I'm like, dude, that was an hour out of my day. Right. Yeah. What, um, oh, I was going to ask you this. You and Tori started off really rocky, your castmate. Right. And now you all are very close, or it seems to, that you are very close. How did you all get over that? Again, um, we were always very close. We always had a lot of fun. We're both very uh, vivacious people, was a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. um, we both like to act crazy. We like to dance. We turn up, we, you know, mm -hmm. um, but they did catch a rough patch for us when we got in a really bad argument. That was hard to watch, too. Okay. That had to be second on my uh, hard greatest to watch. hits. <laughs> greatest hits of hard to watch. <laughs> that argument was crazy because I said things that I'm not proud of, and she said things I'm not proud of. <laughs> I was like, I am proud of, actually. Those are good ones. Those, you got me. My mouth was open. 